Italian cuts, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, this episode will be 20 minutes to 30 minutes. The first episode was an introduction to our boy Farkle, and how we're going to how we're just going to do it. That was just the introduction to our to our, to our, to our boy Farkle here. Um, so yeah, I was just going to head up and do this quest real quick. Let's do this quest. Oh, something you might notice is I actually did get my enchanted boas because I do have my membership back up now. So I do have my enchanted boas. I am using a tank boa for his necklace because I don't have the I don't have the actual one that he needs, but it's fine because it's just, just health and it's a heal anyway. So let's go ahead and put that in one. Um and again his shoulders are enchanted for stamina and dodge, because again my my boas were enchanted for a, a tank monk. I enchanted these bows for a tank monk, but they kind of work anyway, regardless. Um, this one was actually, this cape was actually enchanted for a hunter. I don't have a, I don't have a dodge, I don't have a, I don't have one for, um, like a shaman or anything, but I mean, it's enhancement, it's enhancement shaman, so, plus seven crit and the, the movement speed helps. Um. This is again enchanted for a tank monk, so stamp. That's why stamina. Same, but these actually, these ones I actually enchanted for a hunter too. Um, I have an, I have two enchanted weapons. Both are for a sh enhancement shaman. One is enchant and or um, windwalker monks if you'd like to use these. Um, I can set sh I can set you up with this enchants on my dr on my druid. Um. I, again, I will be doing a video showing off all of my all of my tunes, um, not tunes, heroes. But a lot of them are not level 100, and it's be, some the reason why some of them aren't level are not level 100. They are over 100, but they're not level 110. And the reason for that is, um, I don't want to level them because some of them I'm using for storage for, you know, for my boa storage because I have a ton of enchanted boas so some of them are boa storage others are just there because they lead a guild and they're just there to lead that guild or something there's, there's a reason for why they're not but you, I will tell you the reasons then about why they're not maxed when I do that video um, but the first one the first one you notice is Enchanted Mongoose. Um, Mongoose, I think, is like attack speed. Or uh, if not attack speed, like some sort of damage or crit buff. I'm not 100% sure, but I know it pairs well with Windsong. So the other one is Enchanted Windsong. So if you guys want any of these enchants for your boas, drop a drop a comment down below and make a tune on Kilrog. I will... Trade. I will. I will pay. I will trade you. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll charge like that. I'll charge like that. When I usually do this for people, you know, enchant their gear, I usually charge like a hundred gold per enchant for glyph. Because I am an inscriptionist. I am. I'm an inscriptionist. I'm on, on my druid, and I'm an enchanter. So yeah. I charge a hundred gold per glyph. So. But if you're new, like, if you're new and you sub to my channel, and you ask me for what enchant you want, I will be free. Just because you're a sub, just because you're a subscriber, I will be free. Um, normally I wouldn't, but for subscribers to my channel, I will do, I will do free enchants and free clips, provided that I have it. If I don't have it, and you, if I don't have the glyph, and you know where to get it, let me know. It let me know in game, and I will go get the glyph for you, or the enchant that I don't have. I will go get it for you, and I will still do it for free. I'll go get the enchant for you. Like I'll, I'll spend if it's one, I have to spend hours farming. I'll spend hours farming it, and I get it. And I get it. Bro. I'll spend hours farming that charm, whatever that enchant, or that glyph, and I'll get, I'll get the rest of it. I'll get the ingredients off the auction. And I'll, I'll get it for you because draft because draft Ruin has a relatively high amount of money, so I mean I can pretty much just buy whatever I want off the auction house. 
Um, alright, let's let that quest is done. So, I, yeah, I can I can afford it. I mean, draft through it, I draft through it's loaded. I got I got a lot I got a lot of gold on here because a lot of people actually need a chance for their bow. Believe it or not, I actually yeah. still even a lot of people actually still need a chance for their boas. Um, and you know I charge I charge a hundred dollar a hundred gold per glyph, hundred gold per enchant, and. If you want to get me the ingredients, and then, if you give me the ingredients for it, I don't charge you a dime. Because, I just, you know, you got this stuff for it, and then I don't charge a dime except tip. I mean, that's just no sense. If somebody helps you out in the game, like, brings you a service, like, enchanting your gear for you, then, yeah, you, common sense say you would tip them. Not our tips. Our tips mandatory when I do this. No. Do they help me out in my gold for my gold revenue? Yeah. So yeah, I mean that's up to you. It's totally up to you. But if you get the stuff yourself and bring it to me, then you're okay. I'll, I I won't charge you anything. Like I said, I will not charge. You Okay, we're going to Sunjin Village. Alright, let's go. How do I get out of here? I haven't played in Work Start for a while, so bear with me while I figure out how to get the fuck out of here. some PvP with our boy Fargo on, on, on our journey to level 15, so we the dungeons. We're going to be doing a little bit of PvP with our boy Fargo P here too, so that's going to be important. This is going to be a lot of PvP and a lot of dungeons on Fargo P while I wait. And while we wait, we'll be, while we wait, we will be doing quests. We will be doing quests while we wait. that I was just gonna
start with shaman. Um, just cause. Master, drop me an invite. Ah. Or if you can invite me, go ahead and invite me and tell all your friends in the guild that Farkle P is on YouTube. He's on YouTube, lovely guy. You know, just, you know, promote, you know, promote my channel a bit, I guess. But you if you don't well? I mean, that's obvious. Obviously, you don't have to do that. Obviously my voice might sound a little bit different at some points in this video as right now because I'm like my throat hurts right now, so yeah. So my voice might be a little bit different than normal. I mean I don't I think it is what I mean. That's you know that's a that's really different. Yeah. 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 I think 
just get boots, boots, just like so it's like an upgrade to our current boots that we have right now. But other than that, I don't really think it does anything for us. The reason why I'm not doing that scorpion quest that, that guy's doing is because I actually have to take my boas off while doing it because I one shot the, because I one shot the scorpion step for the quest. And it's just too much of a hassle to just move my boas and put them back like after the class. It's just too, it's too, big. It's just too much of a hassle. So, it goes with all this crap of getting my enchanted boas over to our boy Park and here. And just not being able to do the quest without just much, not being able to do the quest without taking them off. It's just it just takes way too much time. Just take the boas off, do the quest, come back. Put the bullets back on. It's, it's too much. It's too much of a hassle. It's too far. We're actually not gonna noob mount this area. Actually, let's do it. Ooh, Glennon, Glennon cloth. Hell yeah, I'll take that. I can use that for, um, I can use that for bandages. First day, well, we're busted. Actually, we make some bandages and shit. Do that. All right, let's go. When we get to the farm, we, 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 we will be promoting the quest. Like, we'll be promoting the quest. Just a couple times. Just a couple times. Then we're doing a series that we're leveling up. We're leveling up this character. I think. So that people know. Maybe I can get some more subscribers. So I'll be watching up. Watching up. Watching up. Watching up. Watching up. miss a lot of things when I do about this area. And I'm not collecting that, that's worthless. I'll take the sh I'll take the cloth linen cloths though. That those I'll take. Okay. We don't need to kill any more after this, but we actually get to the plants that we need, we do need to kill a lot more off than we actually have to for the class, but Sell that. I mean, it's not much, but I can still sell it. Um, where's those plans at? I know they're in here. There they are. Alright, now we can do it. We don't need it anyways. We can sell it. Shot, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, 
I'm sorry, because I <laughs> I haven't played my hunter in a really long time. My, I haven't played my boy draft in a really my boy draft the hunter in a really long time, so you know. Forgive my best Who you uh, be? Actually never do my Later. Hello, man. Later. Now he has the bus for us. What you want? See ya later. What's that smell? Oh, bad dog. Alright, now we're headed to Razor Hill, boys. Let's do it. What's that smell? Oh, bad dog!
Yeah, see, like like I said, we still need one more marine before we can get out of here. So now we actually have to camp the area for marine. I hate this quest. I hate this area. It's fine though. Actually, wait, no. There's a marine at the top of this. There's a marine at the top of this that we can kill for the final marine. Let's go ahead and kill him. Because I remember actually doing this quest. That there is actually a marine at the top of this building. This is a marine up here that we can kill. We only need one more, so actually that actually just helps us. Because I actually do remember that there is a marine up here. Um, no, not this, not this, not from this tunnel up. From the other tunnel. Up. There we go. Up here. Is it marine?
strength and honor. It's too far away. Of get, you have a risk of getting spawn camped by the yeah, enemy. What do you want? Oh, um, by the enemy faction. Get the beat. It's like it, it's like. Why would I risk getting spawn camped? What if I, just, if I want to just press a little bit of PvP on the side? I can on a PVE server and not actually have to worry about getting spawn camped. If if that makes any sense. I actually remember this bus. You can't go up. Yeah, I can't go around. You have to. You can't go through that. You actually have to go up here, past the watch. Past the watch tower here.
us because you actually have to find the jump point that you can jump off and not die. And it's like, oh my god, it's just, it's so annoying. Um, because I can't never remember where that jump point is. I know there is one, but I can never remember the exact area. That I, and I literally never remember this. It's like, do you think after questing and making so many heroes, I would remember this? But I don't. When we hit back to Razor Hill, we're actually going to grab some gear from the vendor just for PvP. We'll obviously replace it with better stuff later, but I mean, it's just, it's good. It's good for now. I mean, do we need it? Probably. I mean, are you going to be doing a shit ton of PvP from level 10 to one, from level 10 to 15? Probably not. So we only need enough good, we only need enough, we only need enough gear to hold this off until then. So, um, we, have, we need to get... <sighs> 
So we need to get some gloves, some new gloves, a new belt, and some new boots. So there's a vendor over here. We actually don't need the jump point here, we can just jump over here. How they make that thing where you you, you, have, you have to say I want to browse your goods, but the fact <sighs> is I don't think anybody wants to do that. Let's grab fifty of those. I don't think anybody wants to browse what you have, buddy. I mean, if you're taking it that way, I, like I usually do, it's like why? Why do I want to browse your goods? And it's like that's just a really bad statement. To actually get to someone's picture and look at their items in their store. And all the vendors do that in the hits. Are the heart! Alright, so now we're actually headed towards Orgamar. We're not actually going inside yet, but we're headed towards I know there is a ship. I know there is a faster way to do this, but we're not actually going inside Orgamar yet, so we'll just take the long way. We're not actually going inside Orgamar yet. So it's like, I, it's not, we're going to the Dronosh blockade, but we're not actually going inside Border Park.
understood how your pet just gets to walk on them. Just gets to walk, and you have to actually swim. Oh wait, I've been I've been neglecting to turn my XP bar on this entire time. I actually have bartender, so it makes my it makes my XP bar disappear and I always forget to take it down. I always forget to put it back. Alright. Always makes my XP bar disappear. It's kind of annoying. But you know, hey, we'll we'll put it back. Yeah, for this class you don't actually need to um, get, you actually don't even need to um, have the potion, have a water breeding potion, because the actual, the guy, the actual NPC that gives you the class actually gave me one, so that's awesome, because I didn't want to have to go, I didn't want to have to go on the auction house and buy a water breeding potion, so that's, that's awesome that they give you one, I appreciate that, I appreciate those class. I know 
because there's a lot of invasions or or a lot of allies somebody just seeks to invade us. They always like to kill off the quest enemies so we can't quest so we can't quest, so it's kind of annoying. It happens on people PvP servers I know so much. That probably happens a lot a lot more on PvP servers. It happens a lot on PvP servers, at least the one time. Right, we level 10 now, so we're gonna go ahead and select enhancement. I actually have an alliance made. 
Yeah, I don't like the horror. You looking at me? I made, I made don't try anything stupid. Just, just because I actually wanted to workshop myself. That's the only reason I don't like Marvel Peter. Blood and thunder. Otherwise, you would have. Otherwise, you would have been a Pandora like this lady, like this nice lady here, and he would have. I would have picked Alliance. Double. But I already have a Pandora shaman, or in our boy Fats. Let's get these scouts first, then do that one, because it's actually that's actually a secondary quest chain. I'm out of range. Do these machine do, does does flame shot actually work on enhancement shop or enhancement shamans now? Or did they take away the Enhancement Shaman's ability to use the... Pretty sure you can still use the... Can't you? Can't you still use that? No, it doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so they did. They took it completely away. <laughs> That's nice to know. I haven't played in... I haven't leveled an Enhancement Shaman in a while. On a couple of my on a couple of my shamis, even fast, I actually have flame shock on my bar, so I was a little bit confused as to why I wasn't on my bar. Oh, my bar here. Target. I don't have a target. It's too far away. I don't have a target. I believe there actually is an NPC over here somewhere that sells that sells that locket that turns you into a ghost light out. We'll be good. We don't have it now. Not because I don't want it, it's just because I haven't, I haven't really wanted to come over here. Because I know it's all the way on the top of that tower. There's a tower over there, now it's all the way on the top of that tower. We will take that living cloth.
Yes. Play. I actually have a, um, I have an add-on that tells me how many kills I have, and the lady, it's the lady, the female announcer add-on if you want it. You can get it off Curse, you can get it on Wall Matrix, you can get it on pretty much any add-on service. But it's basically, the, the name of the add-on is female announcer, so. She basically just screams, screams out, her voice, she basically just screams out, and the voice gets sexier and sexier the more kills you have. So like, so that I can't, so that I can actually help out, defend our bases and stuff that we actually capture. So that's, you know, that's that's the most important kind of people on offense. Um, are we gonna get them? Let's let's go for Lumber Mill. Let's see if we can get a group up. Let's see if we can get the group up to go to Lumber Mill. If not, we'll go blacksmith. The horde usually goes blacksmith. But there are some occasions where a few people would want, a few people would want to go. Want to go for a lumber mill, but I actually, you know, it looks like it, look, it looks like we're gonna go for. Are we going for a lumber mill? Oh, it looks like we're, act, we're actually looks. It actually looks like we're going for a lumber mill. So let's do that. I'm not the raid leader. Oh, oh, geez, that ah, we assaulted it, so now we gotta defend it from the alliance for a bit, and then we just, I could just go on offense from there. So let's see. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can get some kills. Survival Hunters. I hate survival. It's bullshit. Survival Hunters are bullshit, man. Honestly, I really shouldn't be. I really should. I, re I really shouldn't be dissing on Survival Hunters because our boy, my boy Draft, our boy Draft is a Survival Hunter. Um, so yeah, I really shouldn't be dissing on Survival because our boy Draft is a Survival. Hunter. See, I, I really shouldn't be dissing on survival. It's actually draft is survival.
always wins at low levels. I swear to fucking god, Alliance always wins. At low levels, no matter what fucking server you're on, no matter even if the Alliance has terrible gear, they like no, like if I've had teams where my team is entirely full boa gear, and we still lose because of idiots who don't know what to fucking do, and they go in and they play PvP on Horde side. This is why I hate Horde. Like, you can have an entire team of 100% full legitimate boas on your team on Horde at low levels and still lose. Even if the entire Alliance team has no boas, you still you can still lose. Because nobody on Horde knows what to do in PvP. And I'm gonna keep playing PvP low on Horde side because I actually love low level PvP on Horde side because it's actually a challenge to win. But at the same time, it's like, what the fuck, people? Why are you queuing for PvP if you have no idea what to fucking do? People in Horde side run around like run around like chickens with their heads cut off. I have no fucking idea what to do whatsoever. Now, I can't fight these guys. I, I can't fight these guys. See, we're just gonna lose now. Yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm just gonna type it because it's annoying as fuck and it's getting it's getting on my nerves. Just said it. We're gonna lose if y'all noobs don't step up your game and cap basis. I've already died twice trying to recap the farm because no, actually, apparently nobody gives a fuck about the farm. So I guess we're just gonna go farmless because nobody gives a fuck about our farm. <clears throat> and we only have one base, and I, I don't know what the fuck it is. I don't even know what the fuck our base is. Do we even have? No, Alliance controls the mines. I think we just have Blacksmith. That's it. A priest will never die. Like if the priest doesn't want to die, he just he can just heal spam. No boas or boas, and just he just never die because he doesn't want to die. What to say? Is this motherfucker hacking? He's taking like no damage. I'm out of range. single kill yet. This is starting to get on my nerves. All these noobs just keep taking our kills. Like, so like these are kills we should have. I mean, we, we're full enchanted boas. I mean, the, and st some of these noobs don't even have an enchants on their boas, and they're still getting all of our kills. I know I'm being a kill hog, but I mean, a lot of the kills that we've been, a lot of the damage we've been doing, we've been doing enough damage to pretty much four shot people, and then you get nubs that come in here and it's like, oh, we're just gonna take all of your kills just cause, you know, fuck you, bitch. Get your ass out of here, these are my kills.
Yeah, well, at least our team is capping up. I have to, I'm going to stay on defensive lumber mill here, even though I called offense, because there's nobody defending it. The good thing about having lumber mill is it's actually a good van, uh, good van, um, lookout point that you can see if any of the other bases need help. That's, that's one of the advantages of having Lumber Mill if you guys play around the basin. If you play around the basin, Lumber Mill is one of the best bases you can have. It's, it's a, kind of like a lookout point that you can see what bases are in trouble. If you're on like the lookout guy, that one guy that looks out and calls out your comings and certain in areas, then yeah, lookout, this, this is a good lookout point. damage, but we're not doing enough to kill kill things, apparently, right now. Because, you know, these people are greedy. I bet we're not even on the scoreboard. Nah, we ain't even on the scoreboard. And there's a worgen on top. A person in the alliance is on top of the scoreboard. I'm not surprised. Healing 
me and then all of a sudden he just fucking vanishes out of nowhere. I don't think he got killed because, like, I don't think he got killed because I, I saw him following me. So, I think the priest is just being an ass. to win. This is going to be awesome to win, but no, apparently winning on Horde side at low levels is just impossible. I might actually have to make, I, I might actually have to make my, our boy Farkle P here a healer because I'm sick of those. Yeah, I, I might actually have to make it a healer because I'm sick of those healers. So our journey might actually change because we might actually be healing in dungeons and PvP. We might actually be healing in Dungeons PvP now. In fact, let's go do that. Um, I don't know where my healer bows are. So I guess I could just make So yeah, I'm a little bit pissed right now, so I'm actually going to call the video here. I'm going to make, I'm going to, not make, I'm going to find where my boa, my enchanted healer boas are. What I'm going to trade them over to our boy Farkle P, and we're just going to heal in dungeons and PvP from now on, because there's idiots who don't know how to fucking heal, and it's annoying. So oh, the in dungeons whore. and PvP from now on, we're just going to heal. So, yeah. I will see you in my next video.